Quebec's government in Canada confirms talks with Tesla to build a battery plant in Quebec. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. On November 5, last week, I reported that Tesla is starting a 4680 battery factory in Markham, Canada, which is in Ontario. Tesla plans to establish a manufacturing facility in the city of Markham in Canada that will build 4680 battery production equipment for its gigafactories worldwide. Now, that's equipment. But today, we're reading like how in the past two days that uh, there is good news from Quebec that uh, for Quebec battery materials place uh, that Quebec uh, government confirmed talks with Tesla to build a battery plant in Quebec. Quebec economy minister Pierre Fitzbone comfort confirmed in an email Monday that he met with Tesla executives in October to discuss harnessing the province's capacity to support the vehicles makers batteries. Now this is a uh, in published in reddit and i don't know if this has been in the media in the past two days or the email has come to this reddit user which is to thank uh, for you uh, username i will have the link in the description of this uh, report so quebec is known for being rich in resources including lithium and nickel key components in electric vehicle batteries another attraction for companies is its abundance of cheap electricity fitzgibbon declined to provide provide further details about his meeting with Tesla, which was earlier reported by Electric. It's not the first time Quebec has looked to capitalize on the electric vehicle boom. The province announced in March that it would split a $100 million investment with the federal government for the Lion Electric Corporation, uh, but uh, to build a highly automated battery pack assembly plant just north of Montreal. So the way I'm thinking is is that the, uh, the facility in Markham, Canada, which is in, in Ontario, is to uh, use, uh, uh, Tesla is building to um, build equipment for battery production worldwide. It's for equipment, but apparently from what I'm getting from this report is that Quebec government confirmed talks with Tesla to build a battery plant in Quebec, not equipment, uh, but also so this tells me that there will be two uh, battery plants by Tesla in Canada if things go this way that we're getting the news. Well, if I get more... Um Confirmation of this news, friends, I will have the links in the description of this video. In the meantime, this is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Let me know your thoughts about, you know, if you have heard anything about Quebec uh, confirming talks with Tesla to build a battery factory, maybe 4680 battery factory, of course, in Canada. And uh, have a great day. Peace be with all of you. God bless you, everyone. And I'll see you soon in our next uh, Tesla story. Let's move on to the next story. Tesla in China just increased the Model Y range significantly but decreased acceleration. Just hours or so ago, Tesla made the change in Made in China Model Y's specs, increasing the range from 525 kilometers to 545 kilometers. That's 20 extra kilometers for the same price, which is an increase of 12.5 miles of range in the Model Y. But Tesla also substantially decreased the acceleration from 5.6 seconds to 6.9 seconds from 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 kilometers. Now, the report came from the Ray for Tesla Twitter account. Ray has been tweeting great Tesla stuff, especially from China. Ray writes this, breaking, made in China Model Y rear wheel drive SR configurator has been revised as follows. CLTC range, 545 kilometers versus previous NEDC range of 525 kilometers, top speed 217 kilometers, which is the same, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour goes to 6.9 seconds versus previous 5.6 seconds. Price unchanged instead of being listed as Model Y rear wheel drive SR, it's now called Model Y rear wheel drive. End of the quote. 
and ratios images from the previous uh, Tesla Model Y specs from the configurator and the current Tesla Model Y specs in the configurator for made in China uh, vehicle. Now increase the range of the rail world drive SR made in China Model Y by 12.5 miles and keeping the same price is good news. But why has the acceleration decreased so much? One user named Tavi commented on the race tweet and says if i'm thinking right about this the top speed being unchanged means there is no decrease in power output in the hardware same drivetrain same battery power so the slower acceleration may be a software limit aimed at driving um, demand toward the long range ray for tesla agreed with this view friends writing possibly yes or owners may have to pay for zero to 100 upgrade later at an extra price i guess that is noticeable loss, you know, in acceleration uh, from 5.5 to 6.9 seconds uh, in 0 to 100 kilometers. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's hardly slow, but it puts it uh, more into the league of other manufacturers effort it's also the slowest tesla ever made by some way i have to think elon won't let this stand for too long writes another person you know there is another opinion that the slower acceleration was due to physical changes in the motor to make it more efficient at the expense of acceleration capability but this is just an opinion and i have no way to back it up well friends let me know your thoughts what do you think about tesla increasing Increasing the range of the Model Y by 12.5 uh, miles and keeping the price the same but decreasing the acceleration by basically um, one and a half seconds. It's not too slow, but you know, how can we explain the decrease? But it's a good news that Tesla is increasing the range of the Model Y. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and also give us thumbs up if you found this report informative and sharing social media media we would greatly appreciate it have a great day peace be with all of you and your families god bless you everyone and let's move on to the next i'm tesla leaving story. fsd beta today i was at tesla reddit and i was looking for a good topic to report and then all of a sudden i see this title i'm leaving fsd beta I thought this would be interesting to, to look at because leaving FSD beta is going against the stream because everybody wants to have the FSD added to their Tesla account and then all of a sudden I see this title, I'm leaving FSD beta. This was a discussion that got 723 ups right now on Tesla Reddit and is you know, written by username Leo De Locust on Tesla Reddit and the summary of the article is that there are too many issues with the beta basic that FSD beta should be called alpha in my humble opinion he says and because I share this vehicle with my wife I'll be requesting to leave the beta the longer version is this I'm going to read why is this person saying he is going to leave FSD beta which has got 723 ups top of the uh, reddit discussions on Tesla reddit and also so far at this moment it's getting like 576 comments and growing so he says first off I'll say that I'm a huge fan of Tesla and have owned 2016 Model X P90D and currently own 2021 Model Y LR and some stock. Overall, my wife and I have been overly satisfied with our purchases and investment with Tesla. And then he goes on to critical parts saying the primary issue all the phantom braking while i understand that it's a beta this is just unnerving and scary he says and adds this generally though i would not be as concerned if my wife was able to turn fsd beta off for her profile and the issue would go away however that is not how it works even just basic tacc does the phantom braking with fsd option completely disabled in the menu potential solution ship beta alongside the standard autopilot suite so owners can fall back to a known good product when they want to give their vehicle knuckles a break other issues he discusses are this first high beams 
constantly flashing oncoming traffic at night they are objectively subpar and are worse dangerous to oncoming vehicles and the part that i cannot agree with is that it's enabled by default there are other issues associated like returning you to your stats state before you enabled fsd that means high beams usually manually turned on enable fsd turn off high beams disable fsd high beams turn on automatically the second other issue is i can no longer manage speed in fsd beta particularly deceleration when entering a slower speed limit zone because although the scroll wheel does change my desired speed the vehicle does not slow down within a reasonable distance for instance speed limit goes from 55 to 45 i preemptively scroll the wheel well before the sign however the vehicle continues at 55 maybe 54 with no feedback that indicates it's actually respecting my set speed limit this is bad for two reasons first speeding tickets and second have to hit the brakes and then re-engage fsd beta and then he concludes saying there are smaller issues that many have already reported about and i can go uh, forgive many of those since this is a beta in general my forgiveness is rather high as i myself am in the software industry however these items i have highlighted above just make fsd too much work for me and add too much stress to my life and my wife's he says thanks for reading this far you are my hero and edit says i certainly don't mean to belittle all the hard work and dedication by the engineers at tesla so thank you you all for your hard work tesla team and by the time i finished presenting this to you now this article already has 577 comments so highly discussed i will have the link in the description of this video friends so you can see and participate maybe in the discussions but if you guys have tesla fsd please let me know are you overly satisfied or as is any one of you thinking to leave fsd beta which is against the stream right now and i'm not saying that's a bad thing and uh, or uh, are there any issues that uh, you think are too many for you too much for you and this is why you are considering leaving tesla full self-driving beta let me know in the comment section below please this is armin harian from talknews.com god bless you everyone peace be with all of you give us thumbs up if you found this report informative and let's move on to the next tesla story